Hi homemakers, it's another episode of the August Diaries and it's week two and zone two according to the Fly Lady cleaning process. So I thought I would bring you along with me again as I put in my calendar what are my four tasks that I plan to do on the zone work for this week and then let you see as I get each of those tasks done. And zone two is the kitchen. Before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Okay, let's talk about zone two. Zone two is the kitchen, and the kitchen is always in need of work. And even though there are things in there that we do every day, there's always something that needs doing or redoing. So the four tasks that I picked out to do this week include cleaning the dishwasher, cleaning the garbage disposal, cleaning the stove. And whereas I clean my stove just about every night, I don't always clean the stainless steel part on the stove and on the door and the hood above the stove. So that's the task that I'm going to tackle this week is the stainless steel part and the fourth task is going to be to clean the microwave. I don't clean it as often as I should. I will frequently give it a good wipe down, but I don't often give it a good cleaning. So that's going to be task number four this week. Now let's back up just for a minute and talk about the task that we had on our list for last week. And I had put on the calendar to work on the spider webs, sweep the porch, vacuum the landing, and dust the pictures in the hallway. Well, it turns out that the spider webs and sweeping the porch took up all of my time. It took a little bit longer than I was anticipating, but there's no catch up and there's no behind. So you just move on to what's next. If you missed last week's video, I will link it above with an iCard and in the description box below. And you will be seeing this video actually week three. All right, let's get it started. Now I've already drawn my lines on the planner just to save time and I'm going to go ahead and put at the top of the planner zone two and I got this idea from Fly Lady Cat and it has proved to be so useful just to have the zone written out ahead of time just helps me keep in mind what it is I'm focusing on for the week. If you're not familiar with Fly Lady Cat, I will link her information in the description box because she is the best fly lady on YouTube. Monday, weekly home blessing. Tuesday is free day. Wednesday is plan day and that's the day I buy my groceries, pay my bills, clean the refrigerator. Thursday is errand day. That's the day I get my groceries in, get my hair done. Friday is car and purse. And Saturday is family day. So the dishwasher will be the task for Monday. Tuesday is the free day, so there's no zone work on Tuesday. Wednesday is the plan day, and this is the day that I'm going to clean my fridge, as well as the garbage disposal. I've got a little sticker for a refrigerator. I'll find it and put that on later. But right now, I just want to remember that I'm doing the disposal on that day. On Thursday, I'm going to clean the stove, the stainless on the stove. And then on Friday, the microwave. One other thing I'm going to do since I'm thinking about this is just check to see if I have any appointments that are coming up. And on Monday, I see that I do have a doctor's appointment. And I have some other standing appointments that I'll just go ahead and mark on real quick. And it's always helpful if I put in info about my show on here. Okay, so here are the bare bones. This is the basics that I need to get started with. Now my plan is to show you each week on the Fly Lady Cleaning System my cleaning tasks for the week. And then you guys have to let me know how you like this. I've gotten so many questions about the Fly Lady cleaning system and how I use my planner to help keep myself organized. And truth be told, I have been kind of slacking just a little bit with the planner. So this is a way of me being accountable to you as well as to myself to make sure that I'm keeping that going satisfactorily. So if you like these weekly videos where I show you what I'm going to do, 
on Sunday and then I show you what I do throughout the week, let me know. Leave me a comment. All right, so I'll see you tomorrow as I get started on my task for the week. I don't know about you, but my dishwasher always seems to get grubby, particularly right here around the handles. So I'm gonna give it a good scrubbing today. And once I'm done cleaning the outside of the dishwasher, I'm gonna clean the inside. I've got a tablet that I'm gonna put inside that I'll need to run it with a load of dishes. So I didn't run the dishwasher last night since I knew I was gonna be cleaning the dishwasher today. And if you need a little whitener, you can always try a little baking soda. I always get water everywhere. Now I'm gonna take this finished pot and I'm just going to put it here in the bottom of the drum. And then I put a pot in as usual. So now I've got task one for day one of week two zone cleaning completed. So I'll get these towels thrown into the wash and I'm good to go. And speaking of these towels, I have a lot of these dish towels and uh, dishcloths that I use. I only use these in the kitchen, but you never know what you're going to need them for in the kitchen. So I've probably got a couple dozen of each. Your garbage disposal can get really nasty, particularly the little flanges in here like this. These things can get really dirty. They can get all kind of mold underneath these flanges. So I like to get in here and get all this cleaned up. Sometimes you can even see mold just kind of growing right around that little ring there. And as easy as that, the garbage disposal is done. And please note, I threw away the sponge that I have been using to clean the sink and that I used to kind of uh, swish around inside the garbage disposal. I went ahead and pitched it. I've had it out for use for a little over a week anyway, so it's time to retire it. It's Thursday and today's task is to clean the stainless steel on the stove. Now the cooktop is pretty much clean, but I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down real quick and then I'll take care of the stainless. So let's get that started. And I always seem to drip when I'm cleaning up here. I always drip something down on the cooktop, which makes me have to clean it anyway. So I will start with these areas first and then I'll clean up the cooktop. And what will I be using to clean it? Well, I'm going to be cleaning the stainless with the Real Simple Clean Stainless Steel Cleaner. And I'll go ahead and just spray some of that on just so it can start doing its work. And I will clean the cooktop with this Real Simple Cooktop Cleaner and Protectant. Now, if the cooktop is really a mess and I really need to give it a good scrubbing, I'll clean it with this first and then I'll finish it off with this Wagman's glass cooktop. But since I don't have a mess to clean up on that cooktop, I'm only going to use this today. No matter how careful I try to be, whenever I spray that dome, it always splashes up on the cabinetry. So I clean the cabinetry off first and then I clean the dome. Or rather, I wipe the cabinetry off first. Look at that. Whereas I will clean my cooktop every day, I only do this about every couple of months.
to clean all that nastiness that can get inside the microwave and that can bake on the ceiling and the walls, I'm going to put a paper towel that has been soaked in water and vinegar. And then I am just going to throw it in. And I'm going to turn the microwave on and set it to run for about two minutes. And then when I open it up, the steam will have kind of lifted off all of that nastiness and I'll be able to just wipe it right off. Well, my zone cleaning is done for the week. I hope you enjoyed this video where I showed you how I selected the task that I was going to do for the week and then carry out that process. Let me know if you like this kind of video where I show you how I'm using my planner to plan for the week and then carry out my task. Because if you do and you want me to do more of these kinds of videos, I can. But I need to hear from you to know that this is how you want me to go. Any of the product links that I can find, I will put in the description box. And don't forget to visit our sponsor, Apron Diva, Pretty and Practical. We believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. And our featured apron for the week is this one. It is a chef style, butcher style apron. And we call this one Max. And if you need something for a little bit larger lady, or gentlemen, this one is a good choice. We say this is one of our aprons that will work for our plus size ladies. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying you are not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out another of my August diaries and I will see you next time.